What's up, everybody? So thank you for checking in. I'm going to do a very, I guess you would say more amateur, beginner-ish type of cake. It is a chocolate and vanilla half and half cake. And if you saw one of my other videos, I'm going to use that buttercream that I made um, to make this happen. So let's dive right in. So I do like to use, um, of course, my cake stand. It is a teco, and it is a very sturdy. It's very heavy. Uh, which I like a whole lot um, for working on working on my cakes. It just, um, trust me, it just helps out, especially when you start doing tiered cakes, which are very, trust me, they get very heavy. And so you want to have something that's very sturdy, and it just, it just stays right there. It doesn't move. So I've already torted my cakes. Um, a little bit of hand sanitizer. Already poured in my cakes, and let's work on this. Right, so basically, what I'm so doing is just adding out. a little bit of butter cream now. to um, both halves to kind of stick it together, and then I am just carefully placing them on top of each other. Now you'll see as this video goes along, uh, I wish I would have worked with frozen cake, which I typically do work with because it's just easier to uh, it's easier to um, decorate the cakes and. With the buttercream it, it firms up a lot quicker and it just adds to the stability of the cake and it just makes with um it makes decorating cakes just just so much easier um here you'll see it's a little a little kind of lopsided but watch me work buttercream um buttercream is awesome so right here actually i fed um, just finished the crumb coat put it in the freezer and i took it out and i am officially icing it and i am going to smooth out the edges and get a nice flat top and um get my edges uh my sides of the cake shaped up a little bit better with this buttercream this is also the buttercream that i used in my previous video that i had made it's very creamy uh, and it's very easy extremely easy to work very easy to work with right here i am using a pastry cutter actually as my bench scraper to um, smooth out the sides and I'm just going to keep on going around the cake, adding buttercream to fill in any gaps that you may see. Yep, so I'm still kind of adding here. And during this phase, I kind of just take my time. This part is actually very relaxing and very fun, which is really why I actually enjoy cake decorating. Um, it's just just relaxing and it's fun and take your time and just have fun with it So I'm going back in with the bench scraper just smoothing out the sides and with this buttercream um, You can get some really smooth edges, which is which is really which is really good So just cleaning up just a little bit and let's nice kind of clean up the clean up the top some. A little bit more buttercream, just trying to smooth it out a little bit better. Now I will say this, when your cakes are torted properly, mine's two of them weren't, um, they kind of baked a little lopsided. Um, so I had, to, I had to put in a little extra work. Here, yeah, the client wanted um, a little bit of a pink, so I'm doing like a pink kind of tie-dye-ish effect, which really works once the buttercream is firmed up. Just take um, a little bit of a little bit of a colored, um, whatever color you want to use, and I will kind of spatula or spat it onto the cake, and then I'll go over it and just kind of um, not all the way smooth it out because I like the fact that this creates texture on the cake. Uh, but you will see around the edges, I will um, go around it and smooth it out a little bit more. And, and you'll see how I go in and I clean this all up as well. There you go, I'm scraping off the tops. And there are so many ways to get sharp edges. Um, I will say this, I am not that particular about having the crispiest edges, but I will definitely probably do a video on how to create sharp edges. And here I am going to go in 
and I am going to pipe a little bit. I end up using a coupler as well because I'm going to interchange the piping tips without having to get a brand new uh, bag. It can get kind of annoying when you're switching between multiple bags. And I believe I'm starting off with writing the happy birthday, which is the number three wilted writing tip. Stay tuned for this. 